But for some strange reason, even though you put a pair of socks in, you end up getting one back. Where does it go? Already been three days since Tim has been gone. Ooh, I love the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, but I don't understand why it doesn't come in a pump. You think about it, it's not as sanitary, it gets incredibly messy. Kai is still here and he's staying in the guest room. I find that the older that I get, um, the, the less makeup that I'm wearing. It's not because I'm thinking, ooh, you know, I, I look amazing, I don't need makeup. I love makeup, you know, makeup is so fun. It's a great way to express yourself. I think the older that you get, as much as you've heard this before, you really do realize that. <coughs> Almost choked on my saliva. <laughs> We're in the moment there. But you realize that there's so much more to life than your appearance. Um, there's so many more amazing things in this world. It's true what they say, it's not how you look. A lot of times it's how you feel about yourself. If you're talking about like five years ago, I wouldn't really be able to leave the house without having some sort of makeup on. And now I think there is definitely some laziness to it, but I also know how freeing it feels to just let yourself be completely bare skinned and being able to go outside and owning that naked face. Good morning guys! Hard to believe it but Tim's actually been gone for five days already. Today I am having blueberry pancakes with a handful of fruit. A colorful breakfast always brightens up a dull day. I've been craving the cola popsicles for a while and I noticed in supermarkets, at least the ones I've been going to, it looks like they don't sell it anymore. So distraught as I was, I bought some Coca-Cola and even though I don't really drink Coca-Cola, I froze it. But then I realized that even if you freeze Coke, it doesn't taste the same. What did I do? Thank goodness for Amazon. I think I bought like, like a hundred ice pops. I don't know if that's excessive. No. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. Feeding the teddy bear. So windy today! So um, I was watching the ooh, eye boogers. I saw my eyebrow. So as I was saying, I was watching the Golden Gloves Globes. So I was, <laughs> Golden Gloves. Watching the Golden Gloves highlights, and I really enjoyed it. And then I started to see these articles pop up. These insane articles saying that Ryan Gosling's speech was not cute, uh, but rather sexist. I watched the speech a good few times and I couldn't pick out where exactly it's sexist. Honestly, I thought his speech was so endearing, um, so heartfelt, and I don't think he was sexist at all for thanking his wife. Basically, he was saying that he would not be standing here in this stage with this award if uh, his wife, um, you know, wasn't taking care of their daughter while she was pregnant. I'm sure it was a joint decision for them to operate the way they are. This is the reality of being human, you know. Some people have to take care of their children, you know. It doesn't mean he's denouncing her. Everybody knows that Eva is a fantastic actress. Actress is just one of her identities. She's also a wife, she's also a mother, um, sister. Yeah, it's just really mind-baffling and it really does make me realize that today I feel like people are getting more and more sensitive and taking words out of context. So cold today and windy and I didn't wear my snood, no! I looked at the window and it actually looked sunny so I thought, hey, maybe it's gonna be warm. And once again, I got deceived by British weather and apparently tomorrow it might even snow. We're getting like storm warnings. Uh, for all we know tomorrow, it's probably just, if even, a few specks of snow. We will find out the exciting life of Bubs. It was a very cold day indeed, but it did not snow in fact. Um, so I'm just off to take the dogs to get groomed. It's been a while and I think Domo really needs a haircut because he started to walk into things. I think they know. Speaking of haircut, I think I really need it. Oh, Domo! You just press the switch. Whatever spare time I have, I've just been using it to write and to do errands and chores. 
but I figured while they're at the groomers, I am actually going to just walk around. I have nothing to buy, but you know, it might be good for me to take a little walk. All right, doggies. He knows. <laughs> They are dropped off and I will be picking them up in about an hour or two. I always feel really bad because like, when I leave, you can actually see them in the window and they're looking at you and they look so deceived. They're like, human, you betrayed me. Just updating you guys with some future plans. Hopefully going to be doing a lot of traveling soon. Um, next month, I'm headed off to Hong Kong, uh, Malaysia and Singapore. Only eight days till Tim is back and it's really flown by and the reason is because I just feel so grateful to be getting so much help from you know friends and family who have been coming over to keep me company and of course helping to look after Isaac. It was only yesterday my best friend came over and not only did she bring me my groceries, she made me like a huge pot of stew. Um, I feel like lately life has been very uneventful. I really haven't been up to much. Next month is going to be a pretty exciting month for all of us and I think you guys will enjoy the vlogs. I always wonder how people can do daily vlogs. Obviously you guys already know that I'm not a, a daily vlog kind of person but if I did daily vlogs I can imagine them being super boring. I hate parking here because there's never any spaces. It's okay we'll just park further and that will be my walking for today which is quite depressing. My granny could easily walk more steps than I do in a day. Here at m and and I'm having a berry smoothie and a chicken and leek pie. Do you guys hear that? It feels like this house is shaking. It's like so- Oh! <laughs> Completely forgot that the window slanted and headbutted the window. I think I got a concussion. Maybe there will be a storm. About 30 minutes until I pick up Isaac from daycare. So the great thing about being home alone is I get to walk around without any bottoms on. Like why, 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 why wear clothes? Why wear clothes when you can just walk around in your pants? It's so weird though. Some people can sleep naked. I can't, I just feel too vulnerable. I have to be at least wearing my pants. And I also think it's a hygiene thing. I think sleeping with no clothes on just seems a bit unhygienic. Wait, literally, I just found a sweet in my hoodie. I don't know how long it's been there for. But it's in my life now. I have a very boring question for you guys, but I'm really intrigued. Okay, odd socks. It always happens, okay? You put a pair of socks into the washing machine. However, for some strange reason, even though you put a pair of socks in, you end up getting one back. Where does it go? It's funny because now I'm doing my laundry. It reminded me of the discussion that me and my girls had today. My best friend Annie swears that the washing machine eats it up. So my other friend Ling was like, what do you do? I don't know why, but I used to just throw it back into the basket because I'm thinking maybe <laughs> it will magically appear again as two. But now I just put it in like a separate spot, like in a different drawer. And if I ever come across a odd sock, I'll put it in that drawer. And maybe those two socks will match. But anyway, I can't believe I spent like a good few minutes talking about socks. At the same time, what I also want to say is, Life is too short to be wearing matching socks all the time. You know what? You can wear them odd. <sighs> Mr. Washing Machine! Don't eat my socks, please. I'm telling you. Told you guys I haven't been up to much and things have been super uneventful. I'm so sorry for the boring footage, guys. You're actually watching me do my laundry. A little tip, I actually fold it up. So it washes as a pair, so they never separate and they can be lovers forever. This is like childhood.